So today we are going to see the first molar implant surgery. Let's start. Starting with the crystal incision. It's a mid crystal incision which we are giving using a 15 number blade. As you can see and a mild uh, releasing incision on either side. Now comes the elevating the flap with a parastyl elevator. The dissection should be subparastyl, reflecting on the reflex lingual side of the area so that we have a complete visualization of the implant placement site, clearing all the leftover parastium on the crest of the ridge. Adequate suctioning is important and an adequate visualization. Starting with the initial drill of 2.0 with a planned depth of 11.5 mm with a torque of 600 rpm, speed of 600 rpm and torque of 35 mm entering into the bone to mild dip. And going ahead with the second drill of 2.8 mm. As you can see, these are the step drills. We don't drill till the apex. But the second drill will be shorter than the third drill and the first drill also. This is the third drill also we have completed. This is the fourth drill of 3.65 mm. Only the crustal preparation. As the implant is tapered, we don't need to do till the apex of the site now comes the main part implant placement with a torque wrench maintaining the apical digital pressure trying to talk inside the bone initially we see some resistance because we under prepared uh, the site driving the implant deep into the osteotomy site until the you can either play subcrystally or equicrystally here I placed 1mm subcrystally anticipating the future bone loss of 1 to 2 mm as you can see the implant play, implant is placed inside the prepared site now comes the cover screw placement which is placed over the implant to avoid any tissue growth inside the implant the cover screw is placed with a generally you can measure the torque also of 10 to 15 or a tightening of hand hand torque is also in, is self-sufficient yeah the one thing which i forgot to mention is the implant torque uh, generally you can mention um, do it with an implant motor unit and also see the torque but i was confident enough uh, with my hand distal pressure the torque is more than 45 mm now comes the final thing placing the suture here yeah, first uh, first suture which i'm placing is a simple interrupted suture placing the first knot then the second knot Now is the second suture we are going to place. If you observe closely, what I am doing here is, I am not placing a simple interrupter suture, but a horizontal matter suture, because uh, they just get averted here. You can rather do a too simple interrupter also, but uh, somehow I decided to make a horizontal matter suture, so that there is a complete closure. This completes the surgery. Thank you for watching the video.